Hello friends, this video on Biomolecules part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. First is DNA. This is how DNA looks. This is the 3D view of the DNA. This DNA encodes genetic information or genetic instruction that is used in development and functioning of all living organism known. That is you talk about human, cat, mouse, dog, lion, monkey, bird, you talk about anything any living organism they have this dna and this dna encodes genetic information genetic instruction or information you can say information correct and they are double stranded if you see they are double stranded they are two layers they are double stranded helix they consist of two long polymers made up of simple units called nucleotides again we'll study about nucleotides uh, okay let me introduce nucleotide to you see each nucleotide is composed of a nuclear base these are my nuclear base for dna we have four of these nuclear base we'll talk about these later again this is a nuclear base there is a base here that is linked to these and a backbone of alternating sugar that is deoxyribose here this is a d this is a deoxyribose here this is the deoxyribose and a phosphate group. This is my nucleotide. We'll, we'll cover again nucleotide in details. This is my nucleotides, and there'll be four different nucleotides here. Right? So if you see, this is my adenine, this is my thiamine, like that. So here we see the nucleo base it is attached to sugar. This is a nucleo base, this is attached to sugar. Okay? And this is a pairing actually. G will pair with C. GC pairing and adenine will pair with thymine that is AT pairing right guanine will pair with cytosine and adenine, adenine will, uh, will pair with thymine correct and this is well suited to store biological information why because this DNA backbone is resistant to cleavage because double standard right so it, it has a very strong uh, structure and it has capability to duplicate the information in RNA. We'll see that. So inside the cell, this DNA lives inside this nucleus. And inside the nucleus, it, it lives in a structure called chromosomes. Right? During cell division, what happens is these chromosomes are duplicated. You get a new cell. You must have studied the cell division biology. Uh, you get a new cell and in that new cell, again, the same DNA is copied. Exactly. It's duplicated. So this DNA has uh, capability to do duplicate. So each cell will have its own DNA. Correct? So that is all about DNA. Correct? So DNA is good for storing information. And they have very strong structure. They uh, live inside the nucleus. And during cell division, they replicate. And they are nothing but they are long chain of nucleotides. And nucleotides are nothing but you have this uh, base uh, deoxy sugar. Or DX ribose with a nucleo base uh, can be any of this adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine with a phosphoric acid, and they form this kind of structure. Actually, you see this uh, adenine pairs with thymine, guanine uh, pairs with cis, uh, cytosine, and they form this kind of structure, right? And this phosphate deoxyribose is the backbone, you see. This is what I was talking here. This is phosphate, deoxyribose, phosphate, deoxy. This is the base, this is the structure. Here also, if you see, phosphate, deoxyribose, phosphate, deoxyribose, they form a base. And then they have a pairing. Okay. So if you see, this is the nucleotide. This is the nucleotide. This is the nucleotide. This is the nucleotide. All these nucleotides, if you see, they pair to form one DNA. The next is RNA. So in RNA, what happens is, so like DNA, they are almost like DNA, right? This is also a chain of nucleotides, but it is single standard. This is not double standard. This is single standard. And cell actually used, cell organisms use this RNA to convey genetic information. This is used to convey genetic information so dna stores the information 
but RNA conveys that. We will talk about this later when we talk about the functioning of RNA, right? Because this directs the synthesis of specific proteins. We'll talk about that later. So this DNA, as we have seen, they contain deoxyribose. Here, RNA, it contains only ribose. When we talk about only ribose, if you see, they are two OH group. In deoxyribose, one OH was missing. This was H there. Right? Since this is 2 OH group, this makes RNA little less stable. We saw that DNA was very stable. They had double stranded structure. This has single stranded structure and they are less stable. Because of the 2 OH, they are more prone to hydrolysis. More prone to hydrolysis. Right? So the complementary base to adenine is not thymine. So if you see earlier, adenine was thymine, but here it is not thymine, but it is uracil. So adenine is uh, complementary base is uracil. And guanine is cytosine, that is same, but uracil is here now, right? Instead of thymine, we'll see why. See this thymine and uracil almost are same, only this has a CS3, here is H. Since it has OH, it is little unstable and it will not be able to hold thymine. So it holds uracil, almost similar. And we'll talk about the RNA-DNA link also, the sync also, how DNA and RNA are linked. So we compare DNA and RNA. So DNA is one deoxyribose, RNA is ribose sugar. Right, you see, this is for, DNA, this is for RNA. This has 2OH and this has 1OH, right? This is my deoxyribose. The base is deoxyribose sugar and this is a normal ribose sugar in the base. That is one different. This DNA is double stranded, double stranded, D for double, D for DNA, double stranded. RNA is single stranded. This is more stable. DNA is more stable. Why? One thing is the double standard. Other thing is it, is it is not having that much OH. Here you have more OH, single standard. This is less stable. Right? So in DNA, we have AT bonding. So if you see adenine and thymine. So if you see adenine is yellow, it bonds with red, it is thymine. But in RNA, we have AU bonding. So that is adenine pairs with uracil. And you will see that DNA creates RNA. DNA is the father of RNA actually. DNA replicates RNA. So a DNA can self-replicate actually. The DNA can self-replicate. But RNA cannot self-replicate. RNA can only be created by DNA. And every one cell has one nuclei. And one nuclei will have one DNA. DNA will create a lot of RNAs. So RNA is synthesized from DNA. Please understand here. RNA is child of DNA. And this guy is father. You can say, or mother, whatever you want. So DNA is, uh, RNA is child of DNA. And DNA can self-replicate. We have seen that, and we have told that during cell division, you create one more cell. This cell will also will get one DNA. So this DNA itself will self-replicate and give one more DNA to one cell. So each cell will have its own DNA. And these DNA will synthesize, will create RNA. We'll see that. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.